Hello everyone, it's Alex, and that's right, I'm back here on Collection Neo and Statue Forum as usual, and I'm back guys with a brand new review for you. Yes, I've finally got some time to do a few reviews, um, a little burnt out on doing so many, so um took a little bit of a break, but now I'm back with a great piece here from a company called Aniri Creations. Now if you've not heard of Aniri, they mainly do anime statues in 1-6 scale. Um, this of course is from Space Adventure Cobra, or um, Cobra of the Space Pirate, um, depending on your leanings. Um, but they've also done pieces from Death Notes, They've got um, pieces from Naruto, from Evangelion, they've got the last piece for Bleach, for Hunter Hunter, I think. Uh, what else have they got? Ooh, City Hunter. They've got um, Berserk. They did a huge Berserk piece in 1 6 as well. Um, and they've also just re recently announced that they're doing DC pieces with their first piece, Superman. Just gone up for order. Um, this is a piece I've had my eye on for a, quite a while. Um, if you don't know Space Adventure Cobra, or Cobra the Space Pirate, or just Cobra, um, I first became aware of it when Manga started putting out stuff in the UK in the early 90s. And it was just a movie called Space Adventure Cobra. Um, if you did, if you watched any of the early manga videos, they used to have the trailers on the beginning. And this is one that was... Uh, is still great to this day if you can find the original manga, English UK manga trailer for Space Adventure Cobra with the amazing soundtrack from Yellow. <laughs> it's a great trailer and the film is fantastic, um, whether it's dubbed or not. Um, the series since then has had, you know, it started in like the late 70s. I think the movie was about 82, 83. And there's been other countless OVAs and series since then um it's a great series if you like kind of i don't know futuristic um space piratey space cop bounty hunting with a sexy twist <laughs> um cobra is quite goofy um he likes women he likes drink um and as you can see on his arm there he's got the same um, fantastic thing called the psycho gun uh, we'll get into the statue a bit more in a minute, but um, a little bit more about Aniri. Now, for me, Aniri feel like how Sume used to be. Which, um, what do you mean by that, Alex? Well, if you don't know, it's a big collector of Sume, but I just don't feel... I feel like they make good statues still, but the the time between statues getting put for order and time statues being released is getting longer, the quality isn't as good, the edition sizes are going up, but also the fucking prices are going up. So I kind of moved away from Sume, and also I wanted to go to 1.6 with Naruto and a few other lines that they did. Um, and like I say, um, I was just kind of looking for another company to kind of invest in. Now their Naruto piece really caught my eye, and this one, I was like, I wanted it. So it's just, it's just one of those pieces that was put off, put off, put off, put off. Um, until recently, it came up for a decent price. Originally, this was priced at four hundred sixty-nine euro, so about four hundred and twenty quid. Um, and I managed to get this for three hundred delivered. Um, like I say, the the edition size is quite high. I think there's five hundred of them. Let me just have a quick looky. Yeah, no, there's 600. I've got number 574 of 600. Um, and it's quite a niche anime and quite a niche character, but it is brilliant to have this sort of quality item, um, as usual, you know, from a company just... I never thought I'd get a Cobra statue, let alone one of this quality and um, of design. Um, so I was reading off this certificate of authenticity. This really... All this stuff you get is really premium. It feels really, really good. So, envelope, inside you have your COA, it's really nice um, card, we've got the 40th anniversary of Cobra, my number, Aniri Creations logo, and then you also get your booklet, so that's how the statue is packed, we've got all the, no switch outs on this guy whatsoever, so you just put it together, 
you get what you get. Nice to have a booklet. And then this is um, rather fantastic. I don't, I, I think this is an actual sketch. I don't think it's a print. I've got thank you for your support. 40th anniversary. And then that totally looks like original sketch. And I'm guessing that's Teresawa's signature. But it's very nice. I, I do have a frame for this. It's um, currently wrapped in plastic, as you can see. Um, but I probably will frame it because there's not a lot of Cobra stuff to put up on the walls. Um, so that's what you get with the statue. What I'm going to do, guys, as usual, we're going to pause, we're going to get a bit closer, and we'll have a look at the details on this guy. So as you can see, right up front and centre, we've got Cobra. It's a little cigar in his mouth and psycho gun pointing right out. The face sculpt is actually really, really nicely done. I can actually, without trying, without breaking it. Paints, really clean. As I've said on other videos, I don't like overly detailed, ridiculous amounts of texture detail on anime statues. I like them to look like anime. So the cleaner and the better for me, in all honesty. So as you can see, we've got the coat just flying off the back there, where he's pulled that psycho gun. Coat just pegs in. As we go around, yep. <laughs> so this is Lady, who's kind of like um, Cobra's pilot, and she's a little bit in love with him. I'd say she does get a little jealous. Um, really nice metallic paints on here. Um, she comes in basically three pieces, the body and the two arms, the heads attached. And as we come back around you can see the psycho gun here, again similar sort of paint on the actual gun. The pose is super nicely done. Um, we've also got the pistol on his belt, the Colt. It's just very very clean and very very well done. I'll see if I can get a bit close up on the um, actual suit because there is texture to it but it's not like a lot of these custom like Dragon Ball statues and that you see the textures and it's like this huge fucking stitching and it just looks ridiculous especially on smaller 1.6 statues let's see if we can get a bit of um, zoom in for you guys I don't know if you'll be able to see that guys but there is texturing on the leg it's just enough you can actually feel it and it just catches it on the light, but it's not so much so it's so distracting. That's Cobra's package for the ladies. Uh, and then we'll, I'll pause again, guys, and we'll get down onto this base. So as you can see, guys, the base, the rocks are really, really well done. Hasn't got that plasticky look that you, you do get on certain um, rocky bases, and the, the sand's also textured feels really good we've got all this broken up robot on the base not super sure what that's from exactly and the sword on the back here as well again brilliant textures Oop. on the sword honestly guys I haven't watched any Cobra stuff in a long time so I'm sure I'm getting a few bits wrong but um yeah, it's all very nicely done. I'm sure it's all references. Um, not that I can remember at the moment. And the rest of the base, just really, really, you know, high quality paints and textures all round. You know, it's a real tour de force and it really gets me hyped for other pieces. I have the Ava 2 statue on order from um, an Eerie and the um, Saratobi from Naruto as well. Um, I was originally going to get the Prime one, um, Ava, but I, it basically limit me to just having Unit 1. Um, with an Eerie, I could probably get 1, 2, and maybe double O. Um, and like I say, from what I can see here with Cobra. 
they do sterling work and uh, i think the only other piece they've got out at the moment which sold out really really quick um is um light and riku from um death note um which apparently is also a brilliant statue i have no doubt it's a brilliant statue um but yeah really really looking forward to more stuff from an eerie um and as far as my reviews go guys i'll just be reviewing bits and bobs as and when um my collection's changed a lot since i last filmed anything um a lot of more one six and smaller stuff um still i've got a plenty of one four stuff coming in and stuff like the guyver and um, we've got guts coming in from fizz figures um, and a few other bits um, and larger pieces more dinosaur stuff which i know you guys love um, but yes as far as the neary go big thumbs up from me um, really looking forward to their naruto pieces their bleach pieces you know i really think i'll if they continue to make great looking anime pieces i'll keep buying um, highly recommended for me guys um, definitely you know if you're looking for alternatives to sume or any of the custom stuff that's out there um, definitely check out Aniri. Um yeah good stuff so um, I don't know when I'll get another review up guys but just to let you know that I am still here I am still getting pieces in um, if you want to follow me on Instagram um, over at Collection Neo um, I'm posting stuff up there pretty much daily um of all the little bits and bobs and smaller pieces a lot of grandista recently um a lot of anime stuff and digimon and pokemon and you know not everything's got to be a a thousand dollar statue but it's nice to have one now and then so yes guys um i'll see you in the next review and it shouldn't be too long okay guys thanks for watching bye